Today we'll make a very special Chinese dessert called Ludinous Rice Balls which we'll stuff with black sesame paste and cook in ginger syrup. You may want to pause here for the ingredients and the preparation methods. Today we're making a very popular Chinese dessert, glutinous rice ball stuffed with black sesame paste. Let's have a look at the ingredients. We'll need one cup of glutinous rice flour. Just make sure that this is the glutinous rice flour and not the normal rice flour. We'll need three to four tablespoons of black sesame seeds, which we'll toast. We'll need sugar, which we'll grind together with the toasted black sesame seeds. A few slices of ginger to actually make the syrup and just a sprinkle of salt. So the first thing we want to do is to toast the black sesame seeds. I'm going to warm up a very small pan. Place the black sesame into the pan. And we want to make sure that we don't burn this so we are going to move it around the pot. So when the aroma starts coming out, we can turn off the flame and just let it rest a while before we grind this thing up. So our black sesame seeds has cooled down. I'm going to put it into a blending jar, a grinding jar actually. Now that is about 2 tablespoonfuls. I'm going to add the same amount of sugar. So I've just added white sugar to it. And we will grind using the flat blade. So once it becomes a fine paste, that's uh, good enough. Okay, we'll come back and make the dough. So for the dough, we will need a cup of white glutinous rice flour. Now, the reason why we don't use normal rice flour is because uh, that would actually disintegrate as we cook it. This will become uh, very sticky and becomes like a ball. So and we'll add just a pinch of salt to the rice flour. It's nice to have a contrast of salt and sweet. And we're going to start by adding a little bit of water. The glutinous rice flour will come together very quickly. Just add bit by bit to make it a smooth dough it's a good time to start using the hands, our hands So our glutinous rice ball is uh, ready and uh, when we take out the black sesame paste that we have grounded, if it's too dry, you can add one or two drops of water and make it into a smooth paste like this. Okay, we'll use this to, to stuff uh, into our glutinous rice balls. Okay. So let's start by making the rice balls here. Eh? So we want to divide it into uh, small balls like this, uh, size is not so important.
Okay, so we'll basically roll one small portion into a round ball and then we will flatten it and we'll put a and we'll put a bit of uh, black sesame paste in the middle let's see how we can do this like this not too much and then you want to just cover it up and roll it into a sealed ball like this okay and then we'll just roll it and make into a seal ball like this alright so we'll do a few uh, today I did not make too much because I had this only for one person one portion Okay, so I'm going to clean up and come back. So to cook the glutinous rice balls, I have boiled up a bit of water and placed some slices of ginger. And I let this uh, seep and simmer for uh, like 15 minutes so that we can flavor the water. Now once the water comes to a little bit of a boil, um, for the amount of water, we don't want it to be too sweet. Uh, probably about like three teaspoons of sugar instead here because the filling of the glutinous rice ball is sweet already so this is basically just to flavor the water so once the water comes to a small rolling boil I will remove the ginger because this will interfere with the cooking of the rice balls once the rice ball is cooked I can actually put the ginger back so it's not a problem So these are our ready glutinous rice balls. Okay, you can keep them separate so they don't stick together. So once the water comes to a rolling boil, turn down the flame because we don't want it to boil too rapidly. If not, the balls will disintegrate. And we'll place in the balls one by one. Of course, it helps to have more water, but uh, this should be fine. You'll find that once the balls are cooked, it will rise to the top. Okay, so now all the balls are free. We'll let it cook for a little while until it appears to be floating and also expanded in size
So after two to three minutes of cooking, you can see like the balls uh, have expanded and now most of them are actually floating. Okay, and the balls appear to be quite soft. Okay, we are almost done with this. So just give it a few more seconds and we can turn off the flame. So now we're going to create up our glutinous rice balls, which is here. So slowly we will just serve it onto a plate or a small bowl. And you can have as many or as few as you like. I'm going to place some ginger slices in the middle and I'm going to pour this, the syrup over. So there you have it. Glutinous rice balls stuffed with black sesame. So if we cut up one of these balls, I'm just going to do it here like this. You'll see like it's stuffed with uh, black sesame. This is very delicious when you eat it hot. So try this and enjoy.